Hello everyone, my name is Dr. Necrozy and welcome back to another episode of Mega Aquarium Freshwater Frenzy. So last episode we continued with the main goals. We unlocked some new freshwater stuff, including these beautiful little fishies. Aren't they cute? I think they're super cute. But uh, now we need to get more stuff done. So we need to unlock the backpack dispenser. Unfortunately, that was also my first instinct. Uh, so right now we are trying to get that done. You're gonna have to leave that going until it is unlocked. But uh, for now we can continue with the main goals like uh, have more freshwater species. So let's take a look here at our freshwater stuff. Uh, we need to have this one in the aquarium, which we don't have yet. Longhorn cowfish has grown, as well as the zebra mori eel. And we got to rank 5, which uh, gives us the accessories. This fish, which uh, did not exist anymore because they are in the aquarium. And one of our staff has leveled up. So Elliot here, who I have on cleaning, however... I think, yeah, leveling up his feeding is probably going to be better. Because he's only going to clean a little bit. Let's take a look, making sure I don't have any fish over here that I can take advantage of. No, uh, we have our first territorial fish to take care of. So let's take a look at the Midas uh, Cichlid. That's a uh, rank for prestige good. It's a science fish, which uh, we need for that backpack. A tropical tank eats vegetables and it shoals at least six or singly or in a pair. So we'll probably do a pair because the combined size of them must not exceed 50% of the tank capacity and they get to size 10 so if you want two of them we need a size 40 tank uh, as you can imagine that is a little bit uh, a little bit a lot so let's prepare the area here because uh, I'm pretty sure we just want... Do we have any outer corner tanks? That's not the tank thing. Uh, no, we have an... Uh, I mean, an inner corner tank. No, we have uh, only outer corners. Okay, so this tank already starts with a 36. So if we do it like this, we immediately get a tank the size we want. So let's open this up move the tank forward that is good and we can immediately put in the viewing platforms oh uh, that's new i think can't do the same to remove them but neat okay so that's our tank we're going to need our heating and stuff so we have the red strip dirt eater which i think might be able to go with the the cichlid i guess we'll have to see but either of these are i mean uh, fresh water sorry blanked out right so i've just unlocked the red stripe dirt eater they have a couple core requirements you have not seen before the first is explorer which means they like to have lots of different types of tank decor uh, plants rocks caves but also theme decorations like the barrel and shell the, the second is bogwood lover which means they have a certain amount of bogwood in the tank and it's a new type of what aquascaping so yeah same deal as with the others uh, for now we are still taking care of our uh, midas cyclids we're going to add a large filter and a heater. I'm not going to go with combis because these are very big tanks. 
Uh, and you're going to need vegetables for them, so we're going to get a veg veggie dispenser. Uh, it's going to have to be around here somewhere. Although, honestly, I would prefer if it was like over there. And I know my aquariums tend to have weird shapes on the outside because of this. Um, but I kind of don't like having too much room. So what else do they need? And I know you have a message. They don't seem to need any aquascaping. Just, you know, them. We'll have our pair of fishies and they should be happy with their environment. Now I am going to pause and see if I can add this one while still maintaining the requirement for the other two. One, two, three. And the day is about to <laughs> roll over, so I do not want it to do that while the fish is not happy. Uh, but it does seem like they, they only care about other members of their species, so we can easily keep this... Oh no, cause bullying. Okay, so this one cannot uh, be in there. Do you all have room? You do. You all are not bullies, so we're going to immediately move this little thing over there. Uh, insufficient decoration. Oh, I know, but those need... Um, they need... Um, they need the open space, so no, we're going to remove you there. That is my bad. Apologies for any derp in the side. I woke up at uh, a later hour than I should have. Anyway, so these only need... Well, I, I do want them to be fed as a priority because the day is about to end. Uh, let's put in some decorations for them. Blue life ring. Yeah. That decoration is not the right way around. Uh, how about this? Good. There we go. So that's the, the Midas Cyclid. Oh, and my voice is not cooperating. So Pancho here has leveled up. Uh, he's not really good at feeding. He's not really good at anything, except maybe perhaps fixing. Uh, but we'll level up his feeding, I suppose. She is great at everything, but we're lacking some uh, really good fixers, so that's what we are going to get. So these two are actually not territorial with other species. So we can definitely add more fish over the 20 size limit. However, they are bullies. I didn't remember that. Can we add something else then? Well, not quite yet. Not quite yet. Okay, that means we are probably just gonna go with another tank, to be honest. Uh, so let, uh, let us do that, I think. Uh, since we still need more freshwater species in the tank. Oh, that was uh, everything, like, filling up. What is the matter here? The water quality has gone down because of reasons. Do you have a large skimmer yet? I don't think so. No, we did not. And so we need another kind of filtration. Sea grapes? Can they fit? No, not really. Can we add... Actually... It might fit. Let's just make sure we are not being dumb about it. Um, that can stay where it is. The, this rock is going to go there and there. And now we should be able to fit the sea grapes. What is... Invalid placement location. Why? Oh, there's grass. Uh, fine. I'm going to move this one forward. And that one over here. And that way. And now the sea grapes. They should help with the water filtration. 
As I was saying, they should help with the water filtration, so I don't know why they are not. Let's take a look. So, filter power 4 helps maintain basics, but it's still being like that. So, I haven't locked the backpack dispenser. We do not have the large uh, skimmer to unlock, so I'm going to unlock the power pump. And the tinfoil bar. So, blind cave tetra. You have just unlocked the tinfoil barb. These can be a little problematic because they are both a plant lover and plant destroyer. Plant destroyers have a chance to destroy a plant each day, but the chances decrease the more plants there are in the tank. The trick with plant destroyers is to add sufficient plants so the destruction is spread out and no single plant gets too much attention. Complete the following objective to get your hands on another freshwater plant destroyer, the Paku. Okay, so uh, I think you can handle that. Uh, but for now, we are still dealing with the filtering situation here. We have. We don't have live rocks. Which is unfortunate, but we do have more small rocks. And so we're just uh, probably gonna have to fill it in. There we go, that's finally helped out the water quality. I think that happened because some of the fish grew up, but that's fine. So we have a uh, room for another tank here, and it's gonna be our, well, actually let's deal with this. So the backpack dispenser, the aquarium must contain at least one backpack dispenser, so I'm assuming it's here because it's a staff thing. Uh, where could it fit? That pump is not connected to anything. Interesting. Uh, it can fit right here. So this pump... Oh... Was it probably connected to there, though? Well, I guess we'll see. Wish you could do that, like, normally, just put a pump down and then connect it. But, oh well. So now we have a backpack dispenser. Assign backpack to staff. Select the staff member via the, via the staff window. Or by clicking on them directly, select the advanced staff inside the backpack accessory by selecting it. So, backpacks... They allow staff to do what, exactly? The backpack accessory doubles the equipped staff member's animal food carrying- Oh, 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 oh. So we want a feeder. So in this case, Pancho. To have a backpack accessory. So that he can uh, feed more efficiently, right? Uh, I think. Uh, is he gonna go for it or is Pancho? Uh, that's Elliot. Staff equipped backpack. That Pancho? Yeah, there we go. He now has a backpack. Nicely done. The backpack accessory is useful when you have a lot of animals all eating the same type of food as it reduces the number of times your feeders have to return to a dispenser for a refill. You might even consider grouping your animals into tanks via food type to maximize the utility of this accessory. To equip multiple staff with backpacks, simple purchase more backpack dispensers and assign them the same way as before. So right now I don't think we have much use for that. I mean, I guess there's at least two bloodworm meters. Uh, maybe... actually, let's go to the fish ledger. Uh, green pellets... oh, we had... Uh, yeah, that's the guppies. And a lot of orange pellets. Yeah, I suppose it's uh, somewhat useful then. We'll just uh, let it run. I don't didn't see any bad inefficiencies, but for really big aquariums that's probably gonna be great. So let's get with this one, Destructive Love, and actually we have letters. Our cyclids have grown. Okay, so let's 
get let's see tinfoil barbs so fresh water the tinfoil barbs they could probably be put in with the cyclids but they need to shoal at least three and three times eight is bigger than 20 i think yes yes it is so yeah no and they require a tank with at least 48 so that tank will work but uh let's not we'll open this area here we will have a deep wall tank 36 48 let's go with 60 because there's gonna be three of them and guests guests are a plague on the builder's life so let's uh try that again i'll go with the the 60 no access for stuff because of course not we're just gonna make a quick corridor here maybe open the space up a little like right over there where did the tow tank go there we go so that's our 60 wide tank very nice uh, actually gonna need we can stop that uh, we're gonna need that space open uh do i want a staff door over there there's too many staff doors okay i guess i'll just open up the area enough to have access to the utility closet and that way they can come in here anyway we are going to need a feeding platform and it's going to be right here over to the side then we're going to need our oh there we go the cave the blind cave tetra has been unlocked they're nibblers so they attack the fins and flowing appendages of passing animals uh, and that's the nibblable icon okay uh for now we're still dealing with this so moment we go combi large combi that is good so the blind tet uh, not the blind give that uh the tinfoil barb uh they're plant lovers they need a lot of plant their fresh water uh so we're gonna need three of them they eat more food and they eat cockles well there's cockles over here so i'm not gonna bother putting food closer by i am going to make sure we have a lot of plant like these so uh do you have anything else no so it kind of looks like i'm just gonna have to fill this tank with these that's fine Put one over here so there we go now we have our tin foil barbs it's 1 pm so one two three there we go uh, what requirement hasn't been met two by two space uh, without decorations okay okay y'all are gonna be like that aren't you hmm And there we go. Looks like you've mastered the art of keeping plant stories. Here's another one for your collection. The Paku. Uh, I'm actually gonna... Yes, they need a 2x2. Two two. That's right, they were 2x2. Two two, and the rest is just plants that they can destroy. Uh, we'll see how, how they go. They should be fine contents and purposes and actually since their food is on the other side i'm gonna move this over to there that should be fine there's a little bit of staff access over there that's good uh yeah so that that should be fine oh yeah we did have a chocolate machine that we unlocked and didn't put in uh, but we can do that now, so now the guests can have some chocolate if they want. 
better than just having soda. Oh, lots of hungry people. That's probably why we needed the the chocolate vending machine. All right, so that is two new tanks that we got in. I'm kind of feeling bad for these. They have almost nothing in their tank. Uh, what can we add other than a life ring? Palm tree does not fit. Uh, I guess we'll add a barrel. Uh, here and there. There we go. That way it's just gonna look a little less barren. Uh, I don't think they, they'll mind having plants, will they? Because uh, we can just... Oh, there we go, have the power pump. We can just add a plant to the corner just for readiness' sake. There are no toolkits left in the... Well, I'm assuming, yeah, that someone is carrying one. So there we go. And uh, she's coming to fix that? Yes. So that is not actually a problem. Uh, I don't think it's worthwhile to start another aquarium, but... Uh, no, not that. <laughs> another tank, I mean. Uh, but we can take a look at our little plant destroyers and lovers. And thank you, they look like they have a little mask on. They're so adorable. And of course, our Midas Cyclids. They have that huge forehead that is a little bit terrifying. <laughs> but well, if you enjoyed this episode, please don't forget to leave a like, comment, subscribe for more Meg Aquarium, and until next time, please remember that here uh, there be dragons. Thank you so much to my patrons for making this channel possible. Click the Patreon logo to become one of these fine folk. And if you enjoyed the video, here are some more YouTube things you would like. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe. Have a lovely day, and I'll see you next time.